Welcome to Nadia's Kitchen Creations. This week I'm making Elizabeth's lasagna roll-ups. They are my sister's roll-ups and she's been making them for many, many years now. This is a twist on the traditional meat lasagna. It is a vegetarian dish containing dairy products. I just love this recipe because it's, it's, a, it's, it's really simple and you can modify it to what you have in your fridge or your freezer when it comes to the vegetables that you put in it. This is a great recipe. You can bake it right away or you can prepare it put it in the freezer and bake it from frozen at another time and they turn out just as good. So let me stop talking and let me get to this week's recipe of Elizabeth's lasagna roll-ups. You'll need 10 to 12 noodles cooked al dente, drained, rinsed and set aside. And I always drop a few extra ones just in case I have extra filling or one of the noodles break apart. This part of the recipe is optional. If you want to keep it nice and simple, just use one and a half cups of frozen mixed vegetables. But if not, you can go ahead and slice up about a cup of mushrooms and slice up an entire bunch or a mixed bunch of your favorite greens, whether that's kale or Swiss chard. Pop that in a pan on medium heat and saute the, the mushrooms and the greens together until they're wilted down. About five to seven minutes should do it. You can add a pinch of salt and a pinch of herbs. If you would like the full and printable recipe, you can go on ahead to nadiadanella.com. So once the greens are cooled down in a bowl, you want to go ahead and add, I have about half of a cup of frozen peas. It doesn't really how much you have, it just makes sure that you have approximately in the end one and a half cups of vegetables. So in that bowl, I went ahead and put my cooled sauteed vegetables. I have about half a cup of peas, one teaspoon of mixed herbs. You can use any kind that you like, some salt and pepper to your taste, and one full container of cottage cheese half a cup of Parmesan cheese, add those herbs in, black pepper to your taste or white pepper. Give that a good mix. And taste for salt, adjust if necessary. And then I have some tomato sauce that I had prepared ahead of time. And just about quarter cup of that sauce will go on the bottom of a baking dish and add about, for each noodle, you're gonna need about quarter cup of the filling. If you have any questions, you can drop them below in the comments section and hit that subscribe button before you go and click that notification button. Make sure it's turned to on so you are notified when I upload a new video on Nadia's Kitchen Creations. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just drop that down the middle and roll that up and continue until all of your filling and or noodles are full and then just top another half cup or so of tomato sauce, depending how saucy you like it to the top of your roll-ups and add a little bit extra of the Parmesan cheese. Pop that in a preheated oven of 350 degrees Fahrenheit until everything is nice and heated through and bubbling. It should take about 30 to 35 minutes depending on your oven. And that is it. Just let it sit lightly covered with a piece of tin foil is more than adequate. Just let it sit for about 10 minutes and then you can go ahead and serve it. This is a perfect main or you can add a side salad that is Elizabeth's lasagna roll-ups. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.